hello hello and welcome everyone to today's video now here in today's uh, tutorial or video we'll be learning about how to check the volume of any given container now here in this particular video in this particular case the container is a spray bottle okay it can contain any type of fluid which can be sprayed onto an object now here in this case when we say container or when we say you know to check the volume of a container the method which I'm going to explain you will get applied on any form of container you are actually looking at. So you can actually check volume of any shape, any container, okay, and at different levels. You can also check the volume when, when the container is partially filled, when the container is completely filled or at in the middle or somewhere, you know. So you can also check all those different states of volume here using this particular command what I'm going to explain you right now. So let's get started. The first thing what we are going to do is, first of all, we are going to press Control 1 in NX to launch the customized dialog box. So once you press Control 1, you will be able to launch the customized dialog box of NX. Now here in the search tab of the customized dialog box in the command area, we are going to search for all but selected. So this particular command is what we are going to search for. So you just need to type all over here and this should pop up right up. So that is all but selected. And then what we are going to do is, if you, if you might notice, I have already added it here. Okay, but don't add it here. You can drag this and add it to the top border bar. So this bar here, where you have all these different options. Okay, this is known as top border bar. So here I'm going to add this particular command that is all but selected. Now what this will do is, this will allow you to deselect the currently selected object. So if you select something, this will deselect that. Okay, and select everything else which is not selected. So it is like inverting your selection or changing your selection. Okay, so you selected one face and you want to select not that particular face but everything else, then you can actually use this particular option that is all but selected. Okay, now once you have added this, we are going to see live, you are going to see, you know, how to use this command as well. So once we added this command, then we can close the customized dialog so that this command is present. Now for my PC, this command is present in two location that is over here and one over here. This is just for better visibility so that you can understand it is present here as well. So nothing is like different. If you want, you can add it multiple times also. Okay, but here presenting this command is going to be very important. Now, once you have this command present, then we can start the process of calculating the volume. Now to calculate the volume, we will be using certain commands like delete face. Okay, so I'll be using this particular command to create my negative body. Okay, which is where we are going to use all but selected command as well. So I'm going to use delete paste tool to create the body which is going to fit right inside this particular container exactly in the shape of that container. Then also we are going to use the analysis tool. Okay. And also we are going to use the trim body tool. So this few tools we are going to use or we are going to understand while learning how to create or how to analyze the volume of any given container. So let's get started with this particular tutorial. Now here in this particular tutorial, first of all, what we need to do is we need to ensure that we should create a negative body. A negative body means a body which is going to be right inside this entire body. So technically a negative body is the volume of this exact shape. And to do that, it this is the most difficult part, you know, creating a negative body. Ideally, what I, what I personally used to do before is, I used to create a box around this particular body, then used to subtract this body from there and then delete the unwanted faces to get this particular shape and that used to take a quite bit of time and depending upon the complexity of the body sometime it might be even not possible to create a box around it okay or sometime it is not even possible to you know do the same strategy so here the strategy which i'm going to show you works flawlessly for all different types of containers or all shapes and this is very easiest way of finding out the volume now first of all what we are going to do is we are going to click on this option called delete Okay, now this is under synchronous modeling and this is for deleting a face, a body or anything like that. So this is a part of synchronous modeling command. Now if you can access the command here in the home tab and you will find synchronous modeling here. From here you can use delete or you can go to menu, insert, then you can find synchronous modeling over here and you can click on this option called delete face, which will also keep, you know, take you to the same command. So first of all, I'm going to activate this command called delete. After activating the command here, I'm going to select, I want to delete the set of faces. Okay. And here, first of all, I'm going to make sure I'm selecting, I want to delete the set of faces. Make sure, okay. Make sure preview is off. Okay. Make sure preview is off because I don't want to see the preview when I'm selecting. Okay. Any faces. Now here we have different mode of selections. 
okay or different rule of selection so if i choose a rule called single face it will only select one face at a time but if i choose this rule called boss or pocket faces it will actually select all the uh, you know faces of that particular pocket so what we are going to do now is i'm going to select this option called boss pocket face okay and then i'm going to click on the inner surface okay L let me be clear on the inner surface of the container where the water or any fluid is going to touch okay so let me select that and once i select that you can see all the inner volume is now selected now if i delete this inner thing what will i be remain with is the complete solid body like it's a opposite of shell is what i'm going to get if i delete the entire thing but here is the catch we are not going to delete the all inner surface we are actually going to delete the all outer surface but if you notice we have selected all the inner surfaces why we have selected all the inner surface because it was easy for us to do that using this option called boss or pocket face now this particular option ensured us or made it easier for us to select all the faces which are inside this particular pocket now what we are going to do is we are going to click on this option called all but selected keeping the selection in mind or keeping the selection as it is i have not yet activated the delete face tool i am going to click on this option called all but selected which we have just added here in the very beginning part once i click on this all but selected you can now see all the inner part is now not selected but rather all the outer part is, part is now something which is selected so i am going to click okay to continue with the selection and now what i has left with basically this is the inner exact inner volume of that particular container okay so this is what i am left with if i want i can right away check the volume okay and i am done with it so i will be clearly knowing the volume of what is there you know inside the container but as i told you i want to make it little more interesting so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go all the way down in the part navigator so this is my part navigator i'm going to go all the way down this is where delete operation delete face operation took place before that we were having the outer body and after that we are having the inner body if you want i can zoom in and i can show you outer body inner body i want to show both of them you know i want to see the outer body as well as the inner body so what i can do is right about delete face i have a command called replace face you can have any command in your part navigator whichever options you have but the last command you should have as of now if you are following this particular tutorial it will be delete face which actually helped us to create this particular body now once you you should right click on the command right about delete face it can be any xyz command you can right click on that command and you can click on this particular option called extract body here so that will give you two bodies now i have a body here the outer body and the inner body okay so now you can see this is my outer body and this is the inner body so i have two bodies now and what i can do is i can have different colors for different body for example i want my outer body the way it is looking like it should be transparent and all but i don't want my inner body to be transparent and of the same color so what i can do is i can press control j okay control j is for controlling the object display so i can press control j i can select the inner body and i can click okay then i can reduce the transparency of the inner body let's say to 0% and i can change the color of the inner body to let's say yellow so now i have two bodies one inner and one outer and now you can clearly see the difference between them okay now one more thing i want to address as we are you know checking this this is not related to the topic of what we are dealing with right now or you know what we are going to do right now if you want i'll show you that particular part at the very end so if you are interested in interested in knowing that part the part is basically how to make this look smoother like it is all looking jagged and faced it right so how to make it look smoother that is what we are going to discuss at the very end of this particular video so stick to the very end so that you can clearly notice you know how to make this particular thing smoother now what we are going to do is first of all now i have two bodies the outer body as well as the inner body now currently it is like we can see clearly that the inner body we let us consider that as a liquid or any form of uh, you know object which is going to be filled inside this container currently it is filled up to the top or to the brim level i don't want that to happen it will never be filled up to that level so what i can do is i can activate this option called datum plane using which i can create my own datum plane if i want to so here i am activating datum plane option and make sure what i am doing is what you are doing i am selecting the top face of my container okay i am selecting the top face of my container not the liquid okay 
Then here I'm defining the value of 10 because I want everything to be 10 mm below the neck and I'm changing the direction to go down. So here I'm changing the direction to go down. So I'm reversing the direction and I'm taking it down by 10 mm. I'll just enlarge the size of the plane so that you can clearly see where the plane has been located. 10 mm below the top face of the neck. Now I'm going to click on this option called trim body. I'm going to select this body and here in tool, I'm going to select this plane. So now you can see the body got trimmed. If, if the results are like this, you can always use the reverse, you know, result or reverse direction arrow so that you can see the result similar to what I can see. So now I can see the bottle is not totally filled up to the brim. It is filled slightly less and clearly 10 mm less. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to figure the volume of this particular part out. Like I want to check the volume of this. Now by default, NX will display the volume here. Okay. In millimeter cube. So it will be mm cube. Okay. But normally I want volume in ml or milliliters. So just a small conversion for you, a thousand milliliter or millimeter cube. Okay. A thousand millimeter cube is equal to one ml. Okay. A simple conversion. If you are not aware of this conversion, you can check or you can Google it. Okay. You will understand this part very clearly. A thousand mm cube is equal to one ml. Okay. So if this particular bottle is of one uh, liter, then it should be, okay. Then it should be 10,000 milliliter cube. Then it will be, uh, actually in that case, it will be hundred ml. Okay. So it will be one lakh milliliter cube. Okay. Then only it is going to be uh, particularly 1000 ml. So this is how it should be. Okay. So now it is 1000 ml. Okay. So this is how we are going to understand the value or understand the result. So let us check how much volume does we have inside this particular area. To do that, we will go to the analysis tab. Okay. So all of you can follow. We can go to the analysis tab. If you are using older version of NX, you will have a command called measure body. By older version, I strictly mean NX 12 and below. Okay. Nothing before that or nothing after that. So if you're going to analysis and if you can find this particular option called measure, this will allow you to do uh, what uh, to say, you know, take all different types of measurements possible to this particular shape. So click on the measure tool and then here in the object to measure, select object. Okay. And here in selection filter next to the menu. Okay. Here in selection filter, select solid body. This is going to be very important. Okay. Selecting solid body here is going to be very important. Otherwise you will end up selecting, selecting the face only. Now click on this body. And now you can clearly see the volume of this particular body is right now 755 ml. So as I told you before, this is in millimeter cube. You can change the unit as well if you want to, but I don't want to change the unit as of now. So I want to keep it in milliliter cube and currently it is 755 ml. Okay. 755 ml. But I don't want to see the volume like this. Every time I do some update, then it's like, for example, if this particular bottle is partially filled, then I have to again come back here and check the volume. So what I can actually do is to make it constantly displayed on my screen, I can activate this option, create an associative measure feature and save the expression on OK or apply. So I can activate this particular icon over here that is create an associative measure feature. Okay. Once I activate this particular icon, now I have volume which is displayed here and if I click OK, okay, here I have to go all the way on the top of my part navigator. I can see a major group over here in that I can see a major body command. I can simply show it and then you can see the measurement or the volume in millimeter cube is been also displayed right here on the screen. Now let's say I want to see what will happen if my bottle is partially filled. Okay. Currently it is partially filled, but I want to let me, you know, make it feel even lesser. So what I can do is I can simply double click on my plane, increase the depth, let's say to 160 mm. And if the bottle is filled only up to this level, this will be somewhere near 400 ml. Okay. This will be somewhere near 400 ml. Again, if I want to update, I can just double click on my plane, change the distance. And now this is somewhere near 685 ml. Okay. So this is how dynamically you can check the volume of the given part here in NX. And this particular method will work for everything which you have created here in NX or for any container shape. Now coming back to the 
topic or coming back to that advanced thing which I told you which I'll show you in the end very end so here you can see this particular things looks very jagged it doesn't look very good so what I can do is I can go to file okay I can go to utilities sorry I can go to file then preference then I can go to visualization now this can be also like achieved by pressing Control shift V anyway you can go over here now here in visualization we are going to click on performance now here in performance you will find accuracy okay here in performance you will find accuracy and inside accuracy you will find advanced inside accuracy you will find advanced so what we are going to do is we are going to change the advanced accuracy the resolution to fine and it should not be on the part level it should be view based so it will dynamically update if you want you can also go for extra or ultra fine okay depending upon the kind of you know presentation you are doing so I'll just prefer fine or you know sometimes standard as well but make sure the scaling it is with respect to view this is going to be very important okay and here I am going to click ok and as soon as I click ok you can see the refinement over here okay it will take a while for it to you know make sure the things are fine now you can see the refinement everything is now looking way smoother than before okay everything is looking way correct okay than what it was previously looking to so to increase the graphical capability of a system although you have a good graphic card or you know a good system but still if you are not able to get that smooth circular shapes then you can definitely try this particular option which I have just explained and you will be able to get that I hope this particular video was informative or was of you know good information to you and I hope this particular you know thing you liked so make sure you comment in the comment section below how you know, about your experience of you know going through this particular video. So thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.